Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Guys, how do you usually apply on your lip products? Some people prefer to apply on their lip products in a full lip, but in Korea, gradient lips is the much more popular method. Gradient lips is to make the lips darker on the inside and lighter on the outside. When applied like this, the lips look naturally lively and prettier, which is probably why I see that many people in Korea, as well as myself, do our lips in gradation. There are also various tools that we can use to create gradation on the lips. So today, I'm gonna introduce these tools and take the time to show you some how-tos as well. The tools I brought are brushes, tip brush, and cotton swabs. I'll also be using my fingers as well. So starting with an introduction of the brushes, I'll show you various tools and how-tos. I have with me three brushes in different shapes. There's a brush with very short and round bristles, one with slightly lengthy round bristles, and thin brush with long bristles. First, for the short brush with round bristles, I have with me Phil and Millie's S Eye Smudge 532 brush. Although this is an eye smudge brush, I personally use it as a lip brush because I find it to be an excellent lip brush. Although the brush is a collection of short, dense, and strong bristles, it has a round cut and is soft, so it doesn't irritate my lips. For brushes like this, rather than using it to brush the product on, it's better to tap or blend with short touches. First, apply the lip product to the inside of the lips, then tap or apply small touches to gradate and blend the border on the outer side. If you want to create an overlip, apply a layer of the lip product very thinly to the entire lower lip, and then press your lips together several times and blend a bit over the lip line. And if you apply it once more on the inside of the lips and repeat it, the gradation lip is done. Next, for the slightly lengthy round, I brought Jessup's 233 Cream Shader Brush. Since this brush is wider and flatter, it's used as a concealer brush, but I'm using it as a lip brush. The length of this brush is great for picking a product and it isn't too soft, but rather slightly stiff, it's great for applying lip products on neatly. I like to position this brush down and use it to apply my product on by tapping it quickly or blending it with a long touch. After applying the lip product to the inside of your lips, you can blend by tapping or long touching the brush to blend a clean line on the outside. Personally, I think long touches and blending is a much better method than positioning it flat and tapping it. This lip brush is good not only for gradation, but also for applying full lip, so I also recommend this brush to those who also want to create a full lip look. Next is a brush with a thin and long shape. Eyebrow Kumo's Precise Concealer Brush Unlike the brushes I've shown you before, it's not stiff and it's a brush with long, thin bristles. You may feel that it's a bit more difficult to use than the previous two brushes because it has a thin and long bristles, but it's in a small size, allowing you to apply your product on meticulously. Since it's a thin brush, I personally thought it'd be better to blend with long touches rather than tapping while applying. In the same way, apply the lip product to the inside of the lips and blend with long touches on the clear line. It may be a little difficult for those who are not good at using the lip tools, but I recommend this for those who want to apply lip products on meticulously since it's great for careful application while blending the side of the lips. Next up is the tip brush. Sometimes this brush comes built into an eyeshadow palette. This tip brush is also a good tool for applying on the lip products. These tip brushes are actually sponges that are in a roundish triangular shape. It's great for blending because of its softness. It's a good tool for tapping or blending with short touches. Personally, I think it's great for blending with short touches. After applying the lip product to the inside of the lips, blend the line with a short touch. To apply by tapping, apply the lip product on the tip and apply it lightly all over, then apply a gradation layer on the inside of the lips once more time. If you want a slightly more saturated gradient, you can layer it more. Next is the cotton swab. There are many types, such as wooden swabs and plastic swabs, but you can use any swab. Personally, I recommend using a round swab like this rather than a pointed swab. When using a cotton swab, it's better to blend as if you're applying it on rather than tapping. After applying the lip product to the lips, blend only the borderline. If you apply too much lip product from the beginning, you can create rather clear lines, so I recommend applying a thin layer and blend it. Like this, I've introduced some good tools to use when doing gradient lips. In addition to these tools, you can create a gradient lips with your fingers as well. Apply the lip product on the inside of your lips and blend with your fourth finger. At this time, it's best to carefully blend the ends of the lips by using your pinky fingers. If you use the fourth finger, you can end up blending too wide of an area. 
For products like lipsticks, it's good to use these tools to create gradation on the lips, but these days, we tend to use tints more often, right? There's no need to prepare a separate tool for tints since they come with their own applicator. When creating gradation lips with a tint, first take an appropriate amount of the tint and apply it to the inside of the lips. Then, just slightly skim off the remaining contents of the tint applicator and blend. At this time, it's best to blend while the applicator is still slightly moist state rather than dry. And you can layer it over and over again. Like this, I showed you a tint gradient how-to along with the good tools to use when doing gradient lips like this. If you want to make naturally lively and pretty lips, how about trying it by referring to the tools and how-tos I introduced today. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.